What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Carrie Hilson. Hey, what's happening, homie? This is T.I.P., man. Yo, what up? It's the game, man. Yo, what's up? It's Big Boy. Y'all know what time it is. Live from the West Coast. You already know you checking out Hard Knock TV. You heard? Yeah, what up, though? This is Common, and right now you checking out Hard Knock TV. Yo, what's up? It's Redmatic. It's Buff One. And we're Crown Royal, and you're checking out Hard Knock TV, man. Cheer. <laughs> I think Filipinos and Asians are finally getting their just due. But even for, like, for me coming up uh, in the scene and stuff, I used to even have like uh, uh, cats kind of hating. It's just like, what, did, what is this Asian or what is this Chinese dude thinking he's doing, you know? And what the coolest part was is that, you know, you just have to show and prove. For my generation, you had to really show and prove. Once you sh really show and prove and you show you got heart and you got skills and all that stuff and you went through all the trenches, they, they respect you. What the irony of it too is like from, uh, you know, gro and also growing up, uh, you know, the, f the Asian scene, particularly also like the Filipino Pacific Islander scene, you know, like it's, it's like a bubble sometimes, you know. If you go to the Asian scenes, they're really into it. They're really into hip hop, but sometimes they just don't go beyond that. And, and for Filipinos, what I always wanted to do is like, you know, uh, we were known uh, for being good imitators, but never good originators. So uh, I wanted to do is like, you know, for me, is like uh, in order to get respect, you had to really break out of that bubble and and go into that real, you know, the hardcore scene and stuff. Now you can't, you know, you can be popular in that scene, but that doesn't mean nothing if you don't really branch out. And it was even even kind of crazy I even used to kind of got hated on by my own peoples, saying like, "What are you doing? Trying to be want to be black? What are you a flicker? You know, you know. That's sometimes I get, you know. And of course, there's, you know, I won't get support, you know, or, or even some of my friends that's in my crew, you know, the in the beat junkies that are, like some of them are Filipino didn't even get support, and we really had to like work hard, ten times harder. But you know, once we got the respect, it was good. And the, the irony of now is that, is that. You know, God bless it. I, I, I'm very appreciative that now uh, the Filipino community is now more. You know, they're very supportive. And, you know, and uh, supporting. You know, before it wasn't. It wasn't really like that. It was just like, you know, well, you're an Asian American hip hopper, and I wanted to be like, I'm a hip hopper, but happens to be Asian American. So, and once you know, once we, you know, got all of that stigma and stuff then it, it just you know that's the respect we got and um so but then even now it took a while now now you got cats now that are really doing work like you got like ill mine you know one of the dopest producers out right now a filipino working for you know working you know did shit for g unit you know work with uh, uh l cool j worked i don't know just an amazing producer and then you got someone like chad hugo from the neptunes i didn't even know he was filipino until i saw a picture of him you know, uh, um, of course, Babu, you know, Dilated Peoples and Beat Junkies. And then the one who really kind of broke the mold in some ways and stuff, even though we came up, you know, was Cubert. Being the, you know, being the first Asian American to win a, a, a very respected uh, uh, title, you know, a world champion, DMC, DJ champion and stuff like that. Just the fact that he broke out of the mold, you know, you know, everybody knows he's, you, when you look at him, he was like, dude, this Asian dude won the whole, you know, like, you know, and now he's, you know, he's, he happens to be one of the greatest DJs, if not the greatest, but he just happens to be Filipino. So I, I just think, you know, cats, like, and the funniest things too is like Filipinos, at least on the West Coast, we're like considered the Puerto Ricans of the West Coast, you know, you gotta, it's like the Asians, Filipinos in general have been, and Pacific Islanders have been involved in hip hop in the West Coast for such a long time. I mean, look at Booyah Tribe, one of the first uh, Pacific Islanders and Asian groups to be uh, recognized and respected in, in on the West Coast. Well, it doesn't help, you know, you know, it helps that they're, you know, if you don't like it, you know, look, kick your ass and stuff, so, but yeah. So, um, I, I don't really try to think about it, you know, in terms of like, you know, like, well, I'm the, one of the first, where am I, you know, I'm just, just, I'm a hip hop head, it just happens to be, 
Filipino, that's all. So, I mean, I'm honored, but that's not really, you know, my thing is just that I want to get respect for, for the work I do. The cats that are really making noise are the ones, you know, you, you, see, you see, you know, they just, it just finally now, it just, now the more mainstream, like you said, with, with dancing, like the Jabberwockies, half of them were Filipinos and stuff, uh, you know, even whatever, a lot of the dance crews that's winning from the American Best Dance Crews are Asian and stuff, but uh, uh, some of the dopest uh, graph artists are Asians, but you know, you just, they, at that time, you know, for us American, you know, Asian Americans growing up in, in, you know, Cali and L.A. and whatever, it's just really, we were just, we're just part, we think we're just part of the, you know, you know, we know we're, we're Asian, but we just thought we also grew up, you know, this is, this is what it is, everyday life, so that's how we look at it. To listen to game of life and ease of the cards I've been dealt Give you the real deal, live footage that you can feel for yourself It's uncut and raw, get over border Since before the new world was in order Embedded in places you dreaded and never thought of The corners, the streets and projects, the one bedroom apartments, the hood I'm the voice for all of y'all misunderstood It's because I'm hip-hop, maybe I was born from the struggle Hustle and hover above the earth, observe the concrete jungle And expose all lies will be From the block, it's all lies will be Revolution of the mind will be It will be, it will be Giving nothing but truth.